Hey everybody, Spoonweb here, and today we're going to do another security focus in uh, Distro. This time, Samurai WTF, and that does not stand for what the fuck, but it stands for Web Testing Framework. Um, this one is a little bit more specialized on testing well, web applications and web servers and that sort of thing. Um, when you boot up, you get this system. You can go live by pressing enter. You can do great save graphics mode for X Force Vesa. You can do install to directly install. You can do check for the error check, mem test, or HD from your hard disk. I'm gonna do install because I want to install it directly. It's based on Ubuntu 9.04, so it's an oldie, but it works. So I complain. Like I said, this one is uh, more focused on web testing. Uh, I only know a few tools that it has, but uh, I, oh, we'll have to see what we get when we haven't fully installed it. Oh, my resolution is a bit off, but English, yes. So there, this. Choose my own. Yes. Use the entire disk. Yes. Here you can see Ubuntu 904. In case you didn't believe me. That's not me. Alright, spoon by the way. Yes. Next. And install. Go for it. So, why? Should you use this one instead of all the other ones? Well, like I said, this one is fully focused on web testing. And um, since it is web testing, uh, that's one of the things that companies well care about the least. I won't well, not actually say, but they, they do not tend to think of their web server, web hosting, or whatever being da uh, dangerous. They think that's like outside their realm. But you could easily inspect a web server that you as a company use to gain further access into the company. So actually web server is one of the, um, well, that's the le weakest link usually in, in a chain. And uh, that's why it's handy to have a distro fully dedicated to testing that. Um, you have tools to act as a proxy, which will help you automate some stuff to get uh, like cross-site scripting vulnerabilities, SQL injection vulnerabilities, um, maybe file inclusion or uh, file upload could also be a possibility. Um, so yeah, I haven't. I only saw one thing of it, and that's the Z attack proxy from OWASP or Zap. Zap. And um, it looks pretty cool. It you can kind of compare it to Burp Sweep if you know the tool. If you don't know the tool, then these names will mean absolutely nothing. And um, yeah, so I, I'm quite curious to see what else it has in store. It has the tools uh, according to what stage of the methodology you are in. And I have to quickly explain that usually what you do is uh, recon mapping uh, exploitation and the last one I don't know what they used for that one because normally uh, there is one step in between I think there are four recon and mapping exploitation there's another one. Well, anyway, normally what you do is you gather you gather a lot of information about the target, uh, URLs, uh, you name it, IP addresses, host names, uh, where it is hosted, uh, the block it's on, who owns the block, subdomains, um, all that kind of stuff. And then you start then you start mapping, and mapping is not it's basically nothing more than what happens with the information that I put in 
and what comes out that's mapping and then you want to try to get vulnerabilities in there uh, so that's kind of a vulnerability assessment so you gather information you start to map that's usually one one step or at least part of the same process then you do a vulnerability assessment that is are there vulnerabilities in the information that I got in the mapping uh, of the site in the information queries that go from the browser to the server and from the server to the browser is there a vulnerability somewhere along that way yes then comes the next step which is exploitation and exploitation is trying to exploit that vulnerability because if you cannot exploit the vulnerability then yeah it doesn't really matter that's there so that's that's basically yeah the whole track in a nutshell and this mainly applies to web servers what I did just now but uh, you can do it in any kind of environment that you want but it just applies to different situations uh, we will be doing a pen test at well pen test between quotes because I'm not going to use a live environment uh, on different sites mm, pardon me it's uh, been a long day so uh yeah we will be doing a one step by step um one program at a time uh try to see what you can get uh the kind of information from that tool uh, with how you can use it how you can use the information you got and so on and so on and so on there are a couple of sites out there that will allow you to do a test uh, on them so you can really get to know your tools and everything so that's pretty cool and we will be doing that we will be using those sites as our I think I'm going to do a no I'm not really sure maybe I'm going to use two security distros or maybe I'm just going to use backtrack only I'm, I'm not really sure not quite uh, I haven't quite decided yet so my god, this installation is going slow. I have a couple of more distros that are out there. Um, let's see if I can name them. This is Samurai. I've already done Backbox. We we will do. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. We could then Katana, Backtrack. Uh, maybe incognito the ones the Belgians use uh, still have not looked up yet quite nice uh, one for Wi-Fi and one for I think the Wi-Fi is by the way is Spanish or Portuguese so maybe we won't do that and one for uh, reverse engineering malware and I think then we will have a very large basis on which you can choose from they all have uh, different underlying structures so that's why I did a lot of stuff already before uh, there might be one that's based on FreeBSD and we haven't uh, I haven't done that one yet that's something different um, let's see let's see am I forgetting something mm, not really and once you get uh, used to the tools it's your own responsibility how you use them because it's it's not my intention to uh, get a lot of people out there that don't know anything about computers to show them how to get backtrack in a virtual environment and then use the tools to just like aimlessly fire at sites hoping they hit and then saying that they that they are a hacker no, that's not what I want. What I do want is show a lot of people how easy it is, because it is relatively easy, and to hopefully get a better security for products and things that we don't have anything to say about, like uh, the security of Sony, for example, is a 
think an example that you can use quite uh, for a long time. They thought they were high and mighty and grand. And they got knocked down pretty hard. So, uh, yeah. Now, you might uh, find out that uh, my site has, for example, maybe a security vulnerability. That could possibly be. I mean, if you do email it to me, I'll try to fix it. But, because uh, I'm not saying I'm 100% foolproof. Uh, not at all. So far as I can tell, I don't have any vulnerabilities yet, but we will we will cover my site as well when we um, we'll be doing these scans and looking at stuff, how they work and how information is being processed. I think I will just pause the video here for a slight moment because I have no idea how long it's going to take which is very very annoying so I'll just pause it here and we'll continue when this is done so we're going to restart this is done actually I forgot something to tell you in case you did not know it yet or you haven't read the papers or whatever you haven't paid attention you don't talk about it but Gaddafi is dead and that's a good thing and that's a bad thing the bad thing is now they don't have time to like sort of quote unquote neatly um, try to clean things up like now they have to do it speed haste and or post haste and I think that's going to be a big problem there. Alright, please remove disk. Yeah, I just got this. Restart and give me Samurai. Now it's loading necessary boot files as usual. What we have come to expect from Linux. And here we go, here we go. Yes. All right, it's doing something. I don't know what, but it's doing something. Yes, and there we are. Oh, nice. Let me first uh, change the monitor and then set the administration. Where is it? Ah, display. Wow. I am really. Am I supposed to do that? Then I'll do it like that. Apply. And do this. Because this is something we can all see. Now you can see here Samurai from Applications. Samurai. Uh, you don't need to. This one is nice, but it's not really necessary. Uh, a discovery, they call it. Yeah, okay, that's vulnerability assessment. Information available. You gotta be kidding me. Um, Samurai Recon and Mapping. Uh, so this is Burp Suite, which is a proxy you can use to, uh, well, spider the site and try out what it is. This one will uh, do the same, but also give you uh, insight into what kind of vulnerabilities they have. This is another proxy that you can use. Um, ZenMap is a port scanner. Uh, Motego is a very good one. Google scan. 
So these are basically all your scanners and vulnerability assessment tools are made. Um, discovery basically the same for like this one is actually another tool for a web for a vulnerability assessment. Uh, one of the best things that are in here is well yeah the, yeah it's a set attack proxy but it's a thing but I don't know no the rest of the tools actually I don't know what rec proxy is let's see what it doesn't say anything SQL map I know proxy strike no idea and exploitation we have beef which I used in my cross site scripting attack on Tumblr uh SQL brute Yokozo uh Metal Sport of course uh monkey fix I don't know what it is so yeah, here are some tools that um, I will have to figure out before we go ahead, and these are to update all those tools. That's basically it. PHP shell! And they have a Firefox browser. Um, here, I can show you. Because they have a particularly set up Firefox browser, I think. Well, maybe in a readme file there is a nice, cool explanation about all the tools. You never know. No, they do not. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, no, skip the updates for now. Yes. So you can see. Um, Um, the Grease Monkey script, uh, JS, what is JS view? Oh, cool, you can view the JavaScript in one go. Um, SQL injection preferences, pretty awesome. You can click which proxy you use, and then it will automatically load that. That's pretty easy, and Firebug is to gain a little bit more in, uh, where you can get easier oversight of what, overview, I mean, of what everything does and is and how it works and stuff like that. Um, have cross-site scripting toolbar, web developer toolbar, the user agent you can uh, change, SQL injection, um, you name it, uh, JavaScript view obfuscator, it's also pretty handy to have. Uh, SQL injection, temper data, you know, you have uh, quite a lot of um, uh, plugins that will help you uh, attack a web server. No idea what this is. I'm going to click that one. I have no idea what is this. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Here you can map uh, what it says here. Um, it's meant to be meaningful names of elements on the web pages and the elements themselves. So um, the element itself may be a login, but the semantically name is. Um, oh, no, that's not a good example. Plus, to map like uh, functions to semantically relevant names, some people just use ABC characters for the. For the variables, and with this you can just easier map it. I have no idea if I'm gonna ever gonna use it. Oh, here you can see here for JavaScript UI. I really don't know if I'm ever gonna use it, but still pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's Samurai's WPF, um, a pretty awesome distro, and more than capable, I think, of um, helping you test a uh, web server. So, have fun with this, and I'll see you next time.